Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So, today I'm going to be showing you all how to make a $25 leaf keychain. Now, this is using some methods that I learned while I was taking an apprenticeship, or a internship if you will, with Tom Latney, and over just a few course studies with him at Touchstone Center for Crafts as well. So this is going to be a chased leaf keychain, as I'm sure you probably noted in the thumbnail of this video. So the first step is we're going to pretty much draw what I would like to call an off-sided tapered, uh, an off -side taper. This is neither a symmetrical or an asymmetrical taper. It's symmetrical in one plane and then it's asymmetrical in another plane mainly from the top going down to the bottom. And we'll see why this is important here in a minute. So I'm focusing all the blows right on the tip to try to take and get this swelling that you see there. Now for the fun part. We are going to take a butcher. A butcher is a simple tool that has a leading edge usually. It ha usually has one flat edge or uh, to one side, like what you'll see here in a second. I'll showcase the tool a little bit better here in a moment. And essentially it has a bevel only cut on it from one dimension only and then that dimension you want to take and point that towards the leaf end because we're trying to leave a center band here raised and proud of the surface of this piece. Now we're going to flip it around and make the banking go the opposite direction. And this is a pretty broad butcher tool and so it really works pretty steadily and it's not too aggressive. So I really like using this tool. Now, if you notice in this video, I'm still using my soft face hammer. I did actually make a new soft face hammer, and I will be having the video on that coming out here very soon. So there we go. Now we've created some separation between the leaf and what will eventually become the top portion of our keychain. Now, this was a fun bit of forging exercise. And if you guys undertake this and keep it all nice and smooth and square and clean, you can really come out with quite the impressive result. Like so. And there you can see how the banking tapers away from that center rise now. That is going to be reminiscent of a collar. Also, if you look at the butcher tool, now you can see how it's banked from one edge. And we're just going to continue this collaring right on around on the left and the right side of this leaf keychain. I'm always amazed, and I was really taken back by Tom Latinay's work, when I learned these methods from him to create like raised bands and steel and stuff. And it amazes me that such a simple tool and such a simple process, which is just chiseling in a line, can really make quite the interesting and striking difference in a piece. It's a really great way of transitioning between uh, two different stock sections that otherwise wouldn't be dimensionally correct. So it's a really nice transition piece, in other words. And now you can see how that's kind of looking right there. So we're going to give that a little bit of a straighten in the next heat. Now since you are chiseling down into this piece, you need to be careful that you're creating stress risers here. So you want to be careful to not work this too cold. Because the colder you work it, the more of a chance you're going to take 
for that leaf to break off. And of course, it's kind of difficult to hold, but we'll live through this. So essentially, we're just going to chisel with the banking to the pointed to the outside of the leaf so we can leave a raised vein in the center. And we're going to do it on the opposite side as well. So this is should be the shot after I had done the banking on both sides for the most part. And now I'm going to point the banking forward and add a slight diagonal away from the center vein and we are going to create the little side veins of the leaf. And as this cools you can really see how this is coming out. Now some of you may be asking yourselves for my longtime subscribers why why is it that you're making such a small trinkety item? I thought you said you don't do those anymore. Well a young man that watches my YouTube channels quite regularly had asked for something of me in my last live stream that I did, and his name is Bodhi. So he wanted me to make him a leaf keychain, and so that's what I'm making him right here in this video. So Bodhi, if you're watching, you can go ahead and drop a comment down below, and I'll be getting in touch to get your address so I can send you this leaf keychain when I get it done here. Well, it's already done. So you want to try to keep everything nice and square at this point and cleaned up. You want to be very careful not to ruin any of your detail with the missed hammer blows. So go very lightly with this. Because it's easy to ruin all that detail and texture. We're trying to go for really nice crisp lines here. So now on this upper portion, I'm going to go ahead and do my touch mark. I do it on the side usually or the bottom. Just depends on what I'm feeling like. And then instead of punching a hole, most likely what we are going to do is we are just going to drill a hole. Now, you can punch a hole if you like, or if you don't want to take the time to drill. But as I said before, with that band around there, that collared band around there, it creates stress risers. If you're not careful, it will snap off at those points. So now we just gave it a little bit of shape. Sorry the horn was out of uh, view on this particular one. But we're going to heat it back up and give the point of the leaf a little bit of a direction the opposite way. Once again, off to the side of the camera shot. Sorry about that. So there we go. I'm just using a rawhide mallet just to touch it up, just to get the bends, not to move the material. And there you have it. So now I will probably, now I will take the effort and go ahead and center punch mark this. And I was actually given this center punch at Quad State by a fellow uh, blacksmith, a guy that subscribed to my channel whose name escapes me right now at this moment in time. So I will have to give him a shout out a little later on once I remember what the name was. If you know who you are, maybe you can put your name in the comment section down below. So there we are. We got that all together. Now I will cut it off after I drill it. And here is the result with a little bit of sandpaper. As you can see, there's that really nice striking straight vein down the center. 
with the banking going away and the cross veins. Anyways, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And like always, thank you for watching. God bless you all, and we will catch you on the next one.